techers, trekkers, gadget freaks, and those who just overall love anything that's fracking electric. Welcome to Tech and Tomorrow. We're always bringing you all the electronic items and goodies and gadgets and tech that we can get our hands on. Today, we've got something really cool from the people over at Rocket or Rocat, however you want to say it. I guess it depends on where you're from. I think Rocat is probably the correction, but I like Rocket. It just sounds cool, right? And yeah, I know you guys agree. So check it out. Today, we're going to be checking out the Cave XTD 5.1 digital headphones. Now, these things aren't your normal type of 5.1 headphones. Most of the ones out there you know are all simulated. And a lot of people have called bullshit on this. They're like, hey man, that's total bullshit. They're not 5.1. These ones are though. Each speaker, each side of the speaker contains two 40 millimeter drivers and a 30 millimeter driver all inside of each side. So you're getting true 5.1 positional audio. Like one of the big things that these guys have been pushing about this is that, hey, these damn things, wherever you go, whatever you're doing, you can hear it. You know, somebody basically farts in a game behind you, you're going to hear it. Hopefully you won't smell it, but you're supposed to hear it. So these things are pretty badass. They are a little bit pricey. They come to a market about $169, but they got their own remote. They've got a breakout box and you can either use them directly into your computer at 2.1 or you can use their sound card, which has 5.1. They also have a lot of software, which you can use to actually help. Ugh. They actually have a lot of software so that you can actually enhance your sound. One of the things I've heard a lot of people talk about is this thing called the brilliance button. And uh, we'll let you guys hear that, but it's supposed to be pretty cool. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at this first. Let's take a look at the box. We're going to take a real close look at that. Um, I've heard that this box is a real nightmare to get off. So I'm not going to sit here and waste your guys' time as I pull and tug and everything. We're going to take a close look at the box and then I'll take everything out of the box and just show you guys the content because we're doing a lot more here than doing an unboxing. We're going to give you mic test, sound test, all that good shit. So with that said, let's bounce in. Let's first take a close up look at the box. All right, folks, let's just real quick go over the front of the box. The Rocket Cave XTD 5.1 Digital Real 5.1 Sound. We went over there. It's not simulated at all. Has its own 5.1 sound card. Also, something that's very interesting, Bluetooth pairing. Now, I might take a look at this. I got my phone and I actually downloaded some music. So these things are saying that they'll do download Bluetooth pairing. So if I have my phone with Bluetooth, I should be able to hook these speakers up and listen to this. Now, that'd be awesome because that would make them slash wireless plus desktop speakers. Now, you also get the desktop remote and you get Supreme Comfort because these things have tons and tons and tons of padding around them. All kinds of other interesting stuff along the side there. Real quick to show you guys this. This is what the box looks like. Yummy, yummy in your tummy, right? All right, the side of the box. Who? how beautiful, clear plastic. Who's that headphone in the window? That's right. All right, spinning around the back of the box. You guys can just see they're just talking about more. Output mode switching. You can do external stuff with a little breakout box. Actually, in one of the Asus, the Phoebus, the Zoner, had something quite like this, but they didn't have headphones. It was the sound card with this kind of breakout box. So this is kind of the opposite direction. This is the headphones with the breakout box being drawn to the USB. So, all right, here's the other side of the box. The bottom box, oh, you can see something here. Actually, right here, you can see the, the desktop remote right here. And you can see it's very similar to the products I was saying earlier. Very similar. Very similar. All right, folks, now that we got that nasty top off, and trust me, it's kind of a biatch to get off, man. That's no big deal. It's the box. You guys can see I ripped it right here. Yeah, yeah, critic. Everybody's a damn critic. All right, so first off, you get the Rocket Cave XTD Quick Installation Guide. So everything that you need to probably be in here, it even feels like there's a CD in here. I guess why not? Let's just go all the fracking way and see what's in here because it feels like there's a CD in here. So that'd be nice. It'd be nice to have all the drivers and everything on a CD and not have to go to the internet. But if you have to go to the internet, nope. All right then. Rocket, thumbs up for that. I bet you about that before in some other products. And now they've got some drivers in there. So we got all the drivers, everything right here, including some other cool stuff, some notes, warranty information, and all that kind of stuff. So that's all the first stuff stuff. Drivers, card, installation guide, all that good stuff. All right, we'll be putting that back in the box in a minute. Then we've got a little cap here and the whole thing just slides right on out. Then we take the whole box and throw it at the cameraman. Man, that was close. Hit the dog though, but the dog moved. Cameraman shaking his head at me. Come on, that's what you're here for. Come on, you're here to take stuff being thrown at you. All right, so here we got a little pop top on top. It's like Legos, we're gonna dis <laughs> it's like a little Lego box. We're gonna disassemble it one piece at a time. Yeah, here we go. Oh, crazy. Cameron just loves this stuff when I start attacking him like that. But, you know, it's part of the job around here. Next, he's going to want health insurance. File some kind of crazy claim on me. Oh, wow, look at all this, look at all this plastic. Plastic everywhere, folks. Let's get all this stuff out of here. All this plastic, plastic, plastic. Plastic! Plastic! 
All right then. So, hey, after all the plastic, check it out. So here we go. Very nice cable. Very nice rubber used in this. It's hard for you guys to see this or feel this, but I'm just telling you right now that this rubber cable is very thick. You can tell it's like very soft, but industrial type. Here's where your USB plugs in. Right here, you see you have external connections. So if you want to hook up extra stuff instead of just these headphones, you can hook up another set so a person could be with you and you could be listening to these and your friend could be right next to you if you want to check out your game and hear the sound as well. They could be doing that. You've got your channels. You can also select movie mode, game mode. There's all kinds of different modes that you can select with this. Down here in the front, it's kind of hard to see. You can see your front, center, woofer, rear. So you'll be able to change through here, toggle through and do your different volumes. And the button on the right side is the speaker button, allowing you to use external speakers along with your headphones. And right here we see the movie button, which takes you from a stereo environment to a 5.1 environment without going into the software. So here are the headphones. Now, inside, like I said, man, it's really hard to see, but I can actually see it. You folks, I don't, man, it's gonna be hard for folks to see. I wish I could take these things apart even further, but I wanna break them because they're so badass. But I can physically see three separate speakers on the inside of here you can clearly see there's three speakers. Now that's pretty badass. And also folks, these pads are super duper soft. I mean, they're super thick, they're super soft. You guys can see up here, very soft all the way across the top, totally adjustable, very, very flexible, no breakage, like a freaking pretzel, totally adjustable. Now the mic can be brought all the way out of the way. They've got a little, little it's, it's actually what I call ghetto elegant. You can just take this little clip right here, take it off, and that thing will connect right up there and keep your microphone out of the way if you only want to listen to sound. Otherwise, you can bring it out and you've got this little adjustable mouthpiece to go wherever you need it to go. So, all right, folks. So, so far, these things are very, very comfortable. I don't feel my head getting any stress. I could probably wear these for probably a good two or three hours without having any head stress. And for me, that's a long time with gaming because believe it or not, my eyesight, I'll get a headache before that long. I'm good for about three hours in gaming before I'm like, ugh, I guess age is slowly creeping up on my ass. That's about what it is. But very comfortable. This feels good. Let's go ahead now and I'll go ahead and just pull this little thing off here. They got another one of those little clippy things. This one is remaining on here so you won't lose it. I'll go ahead up here on top of my speaker, folks, and I will go ahead and just plug this in real quick. There we go, there's all that. So it all lights up, you guys can see. The microphone on, microphone off. I haven't even installed any of the software yet, but it's saying that my device is ready to use. So I'm sure this isn't probably 5.1 off the bat, but you guys can see on my screen back here, every, well, I guess you guys can't see my screen right now, but uh, everything's installed. USB composite device, Cave XD headset, USB input device is all there. All right, folks, we're getting ready to give you the sound test, but I just want to show you how you adjusted through all the different sounds. So not the different sounds, but the different volume levels. So right here, you press front. You can see the front volume level is all the way up. It's adjustable up and down. You can switch through center, subwoofer and rear and adjust the volume controls to however you want them to be. Now, like I said before, this can either be used for either stereo or 5.1. You can automatically set it to how you want to do it. All right, folks, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and install the software for this. We can see right here, I've installed the CD. It's starting to install the driver now. All right, folks, so here we see the Cave XED sound console. Everything's installed. You have your master, your front. Here's your Bluetooth volume. Here over here, you have the headset mode. It has stereo or 5.1 surround. We're going to be listening to music, so we're just going to keep it on stereo. All right, folks, so now let's go ahead and let's do the mic test. All right, everybody, so you guys can see I'm using the Windows sound recorder, and this is the mic test of the brand new Cave XTD Digital 5.1 headphones. This is the mic test. I'm Elric, and you're listening to Tech of Tomorrow live on Tech Talk TV. Ah! All right, folks, so there you guys heard it. The mic test works all well and good. Use a simple thing through Windows. Just use their recording device to record a voice and stuff. Doing in-game stuff gets a little glitchy, and I thought you guys would actually prefer to hear just the quality of the microphone. But with that said, let's now move in and let's hear how these things sound. Now, obviously, we can't give you the full depth immersion of 5.1, but you guys will be able to hear the stereo sound and just get, you know, kind of a gist of how they sound. So let's go. Not so long ago. 
All right, folks, so there you guys have it. Everything that comes in the box, the sound test, the mic test, the comfort test, pretty much all the testing except for in-game 5.1, which would really be senseless because you guys wouldn't be able to tell that. But I'm telling you, I have gone and I've played some games and positioning is very, very well. Um, I could bring you guys a test where you just do the microphone you know, test, excuse me, not the microphone test, but the Windows test, where I put the thing in there and show you guys the 5.1 because inside of here, the 5.1 is very, very clear. When it goes around and circulates the speakers, you can hear everything clear, including the subwoofer. It's a big old boom. So these things are very true 5.1. 5.1. Only negative facts about it, $169 is a little bit pricey, but these things are like right on the cusp of being audiophile headphones. Now, being that they had always 5.1 stuff like that, that's not really totally audiophile. If you are audiophile, it's going for the supreme, most awesome sound, but these things are made to be right on the cusp of being audiophile headphones, as well as gaming and just all around general reuse headphones. Mic works cool, they're pretty comfortable, they're a bit on the pricey side, but other than that, I think these are very, very nice headphones. If you guys look over on Amazon, you guys will see that all the ratings over there are pretty much five star, and down below that like button, which I know you guys are going to punch and kung fu hit, will be all the stuff about this, where you can buy it, information, all that kinds of stuff. So, I'm Elric, thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. I think I'll get back and uh, do some gaming, so I'm off to the kill zone. <laughs>